KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 27th of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather cold today, but at least the sky will be sunny. We go way below freezing tomorrow morning. Then we warm up later this week. Then a chance of strong storms as the weekend begins. And then again, early next week. Very active pattern here. So let's take a look at this situation as we go on the weather roller coaster ride. Deep trough over the eastern half of the country delivering the cold air. Starting off the day, mostly in the 20s, Birmingham at 28. We still have a wind blowing, so the wind chill index down around 20 in many spots. And uh, we'll have a hard time getting past the low 40s today. Around the region, mid 30s down to Mobile and Dothan. And around the nation, hard to find any warmth. It's just cold. There's the watch warning map. Winter storm warnings continue for the upper part of New England. It's a freeze warning down in southeast Alabama for tonight. Of course, most of the states already had a freeze. And we'll check the severe weather outlook today, obviously with a cold air mass. No severe weather problems. Maybe some thunder down around Key West and up around Portland and Seattle. Now, this is day four. This is Friday. There is a risk of severe storms just west of the state. This includes uh, Memphis, Jackson, Columbus, Mississippi, Shreveport. And there is no risk defined beyond this on day five, which is Saturday. But certainly there could be some strong storms here. There's still many questions we can't answer at this early stage of the forecast phase. We'll take a look at that in modeling here in a second. This is the rain for the next seven days. Pretty wet down here. We also note the west coast is wet. Uh, heavy snow for the Sierra Nevadas and California. A lot of rain for the Pacific coast. And uh, down here, rain amounts could exceed three inches. Over North Alabama, this is between now and Tuesday morning of next week, and about one to two inches for the southern counties of the state. And the tropics, down to what? Three days left in the hurricane season. Things are quiet out there. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run at noon today. There's your eastern trough. A sunny, breezy, and cold day today. The high only 40 to 45. Areas north of Birmingham could stay in the 30s all day, and the wind is going to make it feel colder. Tomorrow, we start the day well down in the 20s. The colder pockets may be visiting the upper teens for the first time this season. But not as windy, and the high should be around 50. It'll feel better by afternoon. Thursday, moisture begins to come back. We might see a shower late in the day, but I think a decent part of the day will be dry. The high Thursday should be in the upper 50s, and this is Friday. Mostly cloudy and mild, highs in the upper 60s, and a chance of scattered rain showers for the northern half of the state. Not going to rain the whole day, but uh, there could be a shower or two around. And let's go to Saturday. You can see uh, one trough coming into the Pacific Northwest, one that's just north and west of the state. Now, this is Saturday at midday. We have a deep surface low that's just northwest of St. Louis. And a batch of showers and storms coming through. And the latest guidance really on both models suggesting the main rain with this could be Saturday morning. And if that's the case, that would greatly reduce any chance of severe storms because it's coming through at a time of day when the air is most stable. This is the European and this is valid Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. It's got the surface low near Kansas City and a secondary low near Birmingham and a big batch of storms coming through. And this is the uh, instability Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. And there's not that much. There's a little bit. And certainly with the dynamic support here, there could be some strong storms rumbling through. But again, if the storms can come through during the early morning hours, that would greatly reduce the chance of any severe weather. And the rain would be gone by probably mid to late afternoon. So for the outdoor events Saturday night, things would be okay if this holds up. And again, this could change. Now, Sunday, that wave is on by. Sunday should be a nice day. We'll be up maybe in the low to mid-70s if this verifies. Uh, the sky would be partly sunny, a very mild day. 
But the next wave is off to the west with big snows in the Rockies. And then this is Monday at midday. A new surface low begins to form north and west of the state. And this is Monday night. The surface low is south of Chicago. And that looks like it could be a setup for strong storms. And this is the instability, and the air would be a bit more unstable if this were to verify. So, again, the latest guidance here suggesting a chance of strong storms Saturday, especially Saturday morning, and then again Monday night. And, uh, of course, we have to get closer to these things to really identify the you know risk of strong to severe storms. This is Tuesday of next week, new trough digging down across the middle of the country and a new surge of cold air. And if this were to verify, maybe blizzard conditions again for Milwaukee, Chicago, and Detroit. And again, that would be a windy and sharply colder day. And this is Thursday of next week, the 6th. Heights are below average over much of the country, and that looks just cold and dry. These are the anomalies out there, and you can see much of the United States well below average. Here are the numbers. You can see the idea. Now, the Europeans suggesting Birmingham could see a high of 39 today. I think we'll see low 40s. But then we tick up well up into the 60s this weekend. And again, I think we could easily see maybe some 70s Saturday and Sunday. But then the next shot of cold air comes in with highs dropping back in the 40s by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. 